So hey guys, my name is Regila and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you 15 things you can do at home because a lot of countries are going back into quarantine and lockdown and a lot of us sit at home, we are bored, we don't have anything to do, so if that sounds like you then keep on watching. I'm just not going to show you myself doing these things because I literally made this list and I almost cried because all of these things seem so fun, but I literally have to study from 8 in the morning until 11 in the night. <laughs> and I'm literally filming this video on my lunch break, but I hope you will still enjoy this video and let's get started! Okay, so the first thing you can do, you can organize your phone, especially if you have an iPhone and you still haven't customized it with the new iOS 14 update. I really, really suggest that. It's so fun and it takes some time, so definitely an amazing thing to do when you're bored. Then you can watch TED Talks on YouTube because I love watching them. They're so informative and they really teach you things that we need in our life and you don't learn in school, so that's a really great thing to do. Then you can do your makeup and hair and have a photo shoot at home. It's a really fun thing, I've tried it myself, really recommend. Then you can search for new songs and make a new playlist, or you can even make a playlist for every mood, like when you're happy, when you're sad, like playlist is really fun to make. And then the next thing is you can listen to your favorite childhood songs or just the songs you really loved a few years ago, like the nostalgia is something out of this world, it's just so fun. Then you can start reading a new book. I have literally like 15 books on my shelf that I haven't started reading, so if you're the same or you just need a fun activity to do, then reading is really really amazing. You can use your free time to learn a new language and you can either search for video lessons on YouTube or just download the app like Duolingo or something like that. There are many great apps that help you do that and I think it's really useful. Then you can try new hairstyles because if you're like me and you wear your hair down all the time then it's a very useful thing to do because they are so fun and you can also find tutorials on YouTube or Pinterest. Then you can have a self-care day like do face masks, hair masks, take a bath, just I don't know, just take care of yourself and relax all day. You can take an online course, there are so many courses about anything you want basically and some of them are free. Then you can also start a bullet journal, they are really fun, I don't have one myself but I see them all over the internet and they just look so cute and I think they're just really useful to just plan your life and keep in track of things. Then another thing is you can learn how to doodle or do calligraphy. It looks so cool, like I can't express how much I want to do this. So if you have time, another idea for you. Okay, I think the next thing is really useful because if you're like me, if you're still in high school, you can do some research about colleges or universities that you would like to attend and just see what are the requirements. Then you can create a traveling bucket list, just write all of the places you would like to visit when quarantine is over. You can also try doing yoga or meditation. I used to love these things and I think they are just really good habits for you, so definitely try them if you haven't. You can have a movie marathon and just watch your favorite movies or maybe a series of movies. For example, Harry Potter is getting really popular right now again and my childhood obsession with it just came back, so if you haven't seen Harry Potter then go and watch it. <laughs> you can declutter your room, just throw away things you don't need or maybe sell them, just clean your drawers, your wardrobe anything basically, I mean my room is kind of a mess, so then you can make a vision board, for example on Pinterest and just search for pictures that will really inspire you and just kind of create that image of a person you want to be and a life you want to have in the future. Then you can also film a vlog of your day, I mean if you don't have what to do, filming is just really fun. Or another thing you can do, you can start a YouTube channel or a vlog. So I've started my channel in quarantine when it was in spring and it just really changed my life, so I really recommend that. It's an amazing hobby to do. Or if you don't want to film yourself, you can also write a blog. You can also try journaling, just write about your thoughts, uh, set plans how to achieve your goals, or just reflect on your day. It's a really great habit, it's really good for your mental health. Then you can also try new challenges, there are so many of them. There are reading challenges when you have to read certain books or drawing challenges. Even acting challenges, photography challenges, just whatever you want to do, they are so fun, so just search them up on Pinterest and try one of them. 
Then you can declutter and organize your makeup. Actually, this decluttering is kind of fun. So if you have some products you didn't use, then throw them out or sell them. And another thing is clean your makeup brushes and makeup sponges. We all need to do that because I try to wash them, but sometimes I forget. So if your brushes are getting dirty, then it's the perfect time to just take care of them. Then you can sort your pictures, delete the ones from your camera roll because we all have a lot of screenshots, unnecessary things, maybe old school words we don't really use and it takes up a lot of memory. Then you can take personality tests online. There are a lot of free ones and they are actually really fun. Then you can try drawing or coloring. I know coloring is kind of childish but there are a lot of adult coloring books and if you just play some music and you just color it's so relaxing and so amazing I really recommend. Then you can review your social media accounts and see what people you follow and if some of them doesn't inspire you anymore or they're just not active anymore then just unfollow them clean your social media make a space that would inspire you and then another thing you can do is find new accounts to follow just go through instagram see which ones inspire you you can also follow me on instagram i will leave the link in the description then you can try some new recipes because I'm always out of ideas what to eat. You can play board games with your family because now we're all at home and you know it's just nice to have some family time together. Another thing you can do is you can decorate your room especially when Christmas time is coming so just find your decorations, set up your Christmas tree, make your room look cozy and Christmassy. Then you can also go through your clothes and find some new outfits you can wear after quarantine. You can text or FaceTime your friends, especially the ones you haven't talked to or seen in a long time or your long distance friends. Then I saw this thing going on the internet called Law of Attraction. So if you believe those things, do your research, try it, try manifestation method. I think it's really useful and I'm so sad I don't have time for that. Then you can write down some things that make you happy or make a gratitude journal. You know, it's really important to remind ourselves how much we already have and that we should be thankful and grateful for it. Another thing you can do is you can listen to podcasts. A lot of people actually love them, so if you don't have to do them, listen to a podcast, learn some new things, have fun. Then you can make Pinterest boards. I love Pinterest so much, so you can make boards for style inspiration, home inspiration, find your aesthetic, you can try to write a story. You can do that just for fun. You can write fan fiction or think about your new story. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next famous writer. Then you can try other new hobbies like painting or photography or just, I don't know, editing videos, editing pictures maybe. There are so many things you can use. So just try some new hobbies, see what you like. You can take some quizzes online. For example, you know those BuzzFeed quizzes? I used to do that all the time. They're so fun. You can write a letter to your future self that you will read in one year or two years. You can also think about where you want to be in the future, what you want your life to look in five years or ten years. I know life is very unpredictable and it just can turn upside down tomorrow, but you can still think about your goals or what you would like to achieve in this life, what are your dreams. And then another thing, you can make a plan how you are going to achieve your goals and what you can do to actually have the dream life. So as I mentioned, Christmas is coming, so you can do some online shopping and buy gifts for your friends and family. Or you can actually DIY them, just make some homemade gifts. Then you can have a social media detox day because Sometimes social media can get really overwhelming and if you think that you need a break then just turn off your phone for a day, do all the other things you can do, take care of yourself, read, meditate. If you have pets at home like cat or dog or other pets, you can play with them, teach them some new things. My dog absolutely loves when I'm at home because she's always like, play with me please, play with me please. And I of course do play with her sometimes. So. If you have a pet, then just give them some attention, give them some love. And the last thing you can do, you can make an after quarantine bucket list. Think about all the things you would like to do with your friends or family, which places you would like to visit, just anything you will do when the lockdown is over. Okay guys, so these were all of my ideas for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and also let me know in the comments what is your favorite thing to do during quarantine. And yes, just thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!